What's the feel with Andy? You know, what, what were you most disappointed with? You know, obviously, you can talk about a lot of the way the game there at the end, you know, with the things we've already talked about. But uh, throughout the game, I, I thought that our turnovers were probably uh, the most disappointing way, the way, uh, the way we turned it over and by players that we know that shouldn't be doing it. But uh, other than that, I, I think the biggest thing that, again, that I tried to emphasize to our team was when you're, we played the lowest possession game we played all year. And when you're in a low possession game, you've got to make sure that you're going to take care of the ball and the, the ones that we had, we just didn't do that. Do you feel like Vanderbilt's three-point shooting was more of them making difficult shots or you all having breakdowns? We, you know what, I thought they got some uh, shots with some good shooters they didn't make. Uh, obviously, the last play was a breakdown. There's no question. I think everyone knows that. But uh, they made some shots. I, I think that we know that we've got to be better with our closeouts and, and adjust within the game. You know, they had some guys that hadn't been shooting the ball well. That You know, you go into a game with a certain closeout. But once a guy makes one, you've got to adjust. And, and that's got to be done spontaneously. It can't be like, you know, we can't do it and or we don't do it. and. Uh, need to do a better job with their hands up early on all of our closeouts. Didn't have enough deflections. But overall, probably the, the most disappointing thing, like I said, was the, the turnovers. With, with that play with Julian, is that something that you all have talked about in the, the past, or do you expect him to kind of just automatically know to pull that ball out or dunk the ball in? I mean, no, we always, you, we always say take the points. Take the points. And, uh, you know, in, in his mind, I'm uh, – it's, it's all new to him. I, I mean, everything he's going through right now is new, and, and I, I know that uh, I don't think any under can say why, because you know we uh, with that much time on the clock, you know you've got to go. You're gonna have to either make free throws or score the ball, and when you get a wide open dunk, you've got to take it. But uh, we'll all learn from it. Aside from that moment, did you like what he gave you all? Yeah, I think I think he and Tyreek and Tobe were really good. I thought those three guys really did a lot of good things. I mean, offensively. Other than the turnovers that we had, we did some good things that I thought were guys got in rhythm and were doing the things we wanted them to do. It's just that a couple of tough shots and just some careless turnovers. And then, uh, but you expect to be in a close game this time of year every time you go out. And then there at the end, you know, we didn't uh, do the things that we should have done to, to close it out. Your status on Josiah? I haven't heard today. You know, he was walking around yesterday with a boot on, and we'll see. We'll see today after once we see what happens in practice. Coach, how would you say that you've seen Tyreek improve in his game as the season has gone on? Well, I think the big thing is that he continues, and the guys have told him that there's a role that we want him to play, and that's to be aggressive. And, you know, he's, he's gotten so much better as a defensive player. We just need him to take shots and not even ever when he gets a chance to do it. And not just take shots, but, you know, we, we think he's a guy that can score inside, uh, mid-range jump shot. Obviously, I'd like to see us get fouled more. But uh, he, uh, I just think that he can finish strong for us, and I think he will. Why do you think, kind of since that Texas game, that there's just been so many inconsistencies on, on both ends of the court? You know, that's a great question. I, I think that, you know, every team uh, hits a point in time where those things can happen. It can, we could talk about it for hours, you know, as we do as coaches about different things. But the bottom line, it goes back to, and, and I tell them, you know, winning, you have to choose your heart. You know, do you want to, work hard to be great or you know losing's hard you know because if you settle in and think okay this is the way it's going to be it's hard because you got to deal with all the negativity that comes with losing so we've got to choose the right heart and that's to come out every day and know that uh, everything we want especially in february other teams want to we're, i mean we're a we're a big win for a lot of teams and uh and when we play teams we've got to go into it understanding that the teams are going to and we show them I, I will tell you they see it they they can see it when we watch tape and what we think people are trying to do to certainly to beat us and teams have done it and uh, but that's about us I, I've said it all year long it's about continuing to get better and that doesn't mean just as a team but it also means individual guys and know that one game is going to be like this game will be totally different than the Vanderbilt we play in the, the lowest possession game this might be the highest possession game we play in and and it's where guys have to make those adjustments. It seemed like last year you guys hit this this rough spot in February or early January and really rallied. Do you sense that this team is capable of doing the same thing? Yeah, I, I think so. I, I think we. I, there's no doubt. I mean, I've got a lot of confidence. We all have. I think we really have confidence. And you go through it, and every team's gone through it, and we'll go through it at some point in time. And um, I'll be I'll be just really disappointed if we don't handle it because I just think we've got a group of guys that 
they care about each other, they want to win, and, and some of these guys are learning for the first time, a lot that goes into this, and uh, we'll, we'll, we're going to come out, and, and I, again, I'll be surprised if we don't play, and ha play hard and know that we want to try to win the next game. What jumps out about Missouri coach from your state? You know, they're different in a lot of ways that teams in the league, you know, they're going to change defenses. They're going to pick you up 94 feet, uh, very active with their hands, and they'll change their defenses. You know, they'll do a little, you know, uh, different zone pressure on the side and underneath the basket, and that they can go back and play some zone, uh, mainly playing with, you know, like-sized players that they're, they're going to switch everything, uh, not afraid to do it. Ball goes inside of you. Try to get the ball in the air with a guard. They're going to front and then try to get some help from somewhere. A lot of digging, a lot of uh, very active hands, and offensively they're going to run and and they're going to shoot it. They're going to be aggressive and uh, got to take care of the ball. But that's I, I just talked about it. Uh, got to take care of the ball whether you're in a high possession game or a low possession game. But they're uh, again they're going to be very very aggressive. How unique is it to see a team like Missouri go from being so defensive oriented to so offensive oriented in just one year? Well, again, uh, I think uh, Dennis has done a really good job in a short time going in. Uh, you know, uh, what he did do, he put together an older team, guys that have played basketball for a, for a while that uh, that you can do. Again, I, I think that there's no doubt his system is to be aggressive both ways, play at a very high tempo, and he's done a great job. I think he's done a great job obviously getting the Missouri fan base back where everybody knows it, it is and what it should be. And uh, But they've been, uh, I mean, really a great job by him and his staff. Coach, what does it mean to have Texas and Oklahoma coming into this conference in a couple years? Well, it's already, it's going to take the, the best conference and just make it better. I mean, the Southeastern Conference is the, the very best. And in every every way, it's not, uh, not just, you know, one sport, it's all sports, and it's a league that produces champions, and you're bringing in two teams that has just great uh, credentials all the way around, and it's just going to take it from where it is and can put it even further out front. Do you want a common theme with the turnovers, or is it a variety of things?